I think without him, visual culture, definitely within this country, just simply wouldn't be the same. At the time that he started out was, um, it was very much about innovation, but then he sort of really applied himself to typography. I think that there's a skill to, to change the nature of time. And he's really kept defining um, a new language, both for himself, but also for, for us in, 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 vis in visual culture. A long time ago, someone told me that the definition of fame uh, was that London taxi drivers knew who you were. No, I've never heard of him. No, I haven't known him. I've heard of someone very similar. I've never heard of him. Yeah, he's a graphic designer. Had him in my taxi once. Didn't stop talking. I think the word that stands out most in my mind is, is uh, the Face magazine. There was a book which then became the Bible for many, many, many graphic designers. It was magazines, it was the Face, it was ID magazine, it was Arena. It's the um, mud hut structures that he's built for the uh, ducks and geese in Victoria Park. You know, not only is he such an influencer in terms of his practice, but he's also such an influencer in the world of education and research. You meet people all the time that he's been really kind of influential and kind of really helped along the way on a very small kind of micro level. For me as a German, it was something new that, that he just gave me very immediately a chance, you know, and he said, well, why don't you go next week and take a photograph? My career has gone massively downhill since I worked with him, yeah. The, 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 the perms are always amazing. You know, he changed the whole, whole, whole world out there. He doesn't actually reply to my emails or answer the telephone. You know, I, I kind of quite often say there's, um, there's probably three reasons why I'm a designer, but there's probably two of them. <laughs>